guys, it's me Blanca again and today I'm coming with an affordable tutorial using Mark Avon's, I guess, sister company. Yes, it's still Avon. There's my bag. I bought all these products with my own money. So first things first, let's get my hair out of my way. I've already done my brows off camera. Let me just put this janky hair up. Okay, so here is my receipt of everything I bought. You don't need that. I got a brush. I got a foundation. The last one I used, it wasn't very good. It made my face super oily. This is an oil-free product. We'll see how that works. Um, a Havana Soul hookup eyeshadow ombre. I don't, I don't even remember what that is. There you go. And then we got a lipstick. I will give you a close up of these when I open them. Just trying to get through everything I bought. And then I got a touch and glow. This is um, for just like a all over, all over highlight. And then we got um, a cheek magnet. I don't know what this is. It's a hookup blush and bronzer. Really cute packaging. I'm really impressed by that. And we also got a powder. So we'll see how that works. So I believe this one is the eyeshadow. I'm gonna prime. I'm only gonna do one set of my eyes. You know the drill. I'm not good at editing yet. I'm gonna use this NYX jumbo pencil. I recently started using it. I am really digging it. So, spread all over the eyes. And in. Let me see. Open it. It's got a little parrot on it. Oh, never mind. This is for the cheeks. I'm guessing so. Okay, eye contact. Okay, this is the colors here. I don't know if you can see. They are a little bit small. I mean, this is the palette in my hand. So this is a bit small but right off the bat it is they are all blues um they're like um almost like ocean to me i love sharks so in honor of shark week i don't know if you guys watch that but i love shark week i'm gonna do a shark ocean inspired look so it's got great transition color so i'm gonna go in with this color that is called it is nameless. Right. So I'm going to start with that color. I'm going to go in with that color right there. Okay. Uh, it's pigmented. That's for sure. So my full face, first impressions, Mark Makeup. Not Mark Jacobs, okay? It's working pretty well, I must admit. Um, it's blending out nice. No harsh lines. So, just blend, blend. I'm going to do like an ombre blue ocean inspired look. I must say they are blending out pretty nice. There we go. I'm going to go in again. 
And then since we're going to do an ombre look, I'm going to just in here to the middle of the eye, but not all the way in. The transition, yes, you're going to push all the way in, but. So, I'm not going to lie. Uh, just from doing it, they're really nice. So, now with my Luxie tapered blending brush. Um, it's got a little bit of kickback, but nothing too bad. I'm just going to put this on the corner of my eyes and blend a little. It's just kind of blending out. Pick up some more. It is really pretty. It's like a seaweed green. I'm not going to lie. They are blending out very, very nice. And this is a consistency we're getting. And go in again because it's starting to lighten up. Tap, 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 tap. There's some fallout, but nothing too bad. That's why I always do my face last. So blend, blend, blend. go and then just flip it towards your brow flip it out and in out and in okay so now we've got that green going I'm just gonna hit it with this blending Sonia cushion brush in the crease go back and forth actually shadow don't take a lot of words around brand brand I mean blend okay so now we're gonna go in with this blue color We're gonna go in with that blue color and just tap, 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 tap. And sit it in the corners just to deepen that crease up. Like just to deeply see. It's not, it's pigmented, but not like too pigmented where it's like, whoa. They're blending really nice though, I'm not gonna lie. Just, you're gonna just keep hitting those corners. And you see how it's just coming out. Very blue, light blue. They look like they were going to go, whoa, I don't know about that color, but it's actually coming out really nice. So we're going to go in with some more blue here. And debating whether I want to use this one or this one to ombre it and, and just keep blending into that crease back and forth, back and forth. And blue is like a hard color, so it's going to look kind of janky and crazy looking. If you just blend, you see these harsh lines here? You see, you just blend it out and it looks really nice. I am totally impressed. Now we're going to go in again with this color right here on the corner. None of these have names, so it didn't even come with a paper with a name in it. So we're going to re emphasize that color right there just to make sure it doesn't get lost and all that blue and there we go there we go go girl go go girl go i'm a go go girl on my go go makeup and this one actually works if you just press it into the eye and just work it out here work it out Okay, so now I'm going to go in with, um, anybody ever want to do silver? I am think I'm going to go in with this color right here, this middle color. I'm not actually sure what that is, but I'm going to get a packing brush by Flower. Not the bag of flour, the brand flour at Walmart. And we're just going to press it in to the lid. There we go. That's actually pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Tap, tap, tap on into that. 
and I'm gonna keep on and I'm sorry if I'm not in autofocus guys my kids um, set this up for me so I won't get to look at it till I'm done <laughs> just tap 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 and we are almost done with the eyes I feel like I need to deepen up the ends just a little bit to give it more dimension. So I'm going to tap into this blue color right here. Tap, tap, tap. And go back in. Deepen it up a little bit. I kind of want to intensify that green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some um, a Mario Badesco water on this same little brush and wet it and I'm going to pick up some green. Pick up some of that same green I've been dipping into. This one, this seaweed almost color here. Pop it on the lids, and I'm not really sure that it's giving it much more of a pop. Just dip back into that, rub, rub, rub. It's really slow. It is intensifying the color into it like this there we go and it is intensifying the color it looks so pretty I'm not gonna lie these shadows blend out really good really really good okay so now that is done I'm gonna go ahead and intensify that silver Wet the brush again, go back into that silver color, this, just rub it in there, and come back, oh yes, oh no, I'm pretty impressed with this little palette, I'm probably going to use it all summer, it's so pretty, I love these little colorful sea creature colors. And then you just need to go back over and make sure it's blended. If you have any harsh lines, which is these are really easy to blend. I'm like in shock. Like I don't have any harsh lines. If you can see here or here, it all blended together really nicely. And then just come back through here and go like this and like that. And so now I'm going to find my brow bone color. I don't know if this may be too shiny, but let's go in and try it. It's like a soft vanilla. One thing I wish is they had names on them so I could tell you. But okay, that's nice. It's a little bit shimmery, but still nice. Let's go in with this um, nameless brush. There we go. And we are done with this eyeshadow look. You see all the dimensions. Now I'm just gonna go in with some liner. Cause you know, I'm a liner whore. I'm gonna go in with my NYX. And we're just gonna do a wing. I always start from the middle of my eye and go out. Also, I did not get a lot of fallout with these shadows, which is, I really like that. And I'm really impressed. Okay. I'm going to do a wear test. I'm going to check back in with you guys later on. And let y'all know how all these products worked a bit. We are done with this eye for now. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Um, we are done. I'm going to go off camera to do this eye, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So, I'm done with the eyes. I really like the way this turned out. It's really easy to even work with because blues, um, even on my Urban Decay palette, it is so hard to work with. But this one's not so pigmented where you can't 
work that and it just blends out like a dream so now we are gonna use the mark get even all day moisture liquid foundation um uneven skin tones don't get mad get natural looking skin and radiant appearance with tone correcting moisturizing formula delivers medium coverage with a breathable feel usage blend all over for smooth even finish layer 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 as needed to build up coverage okay blah 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 whatever okay just gonna go and moisturize the skin Ooh, uh, nice packaging I really like that packaging so the Smashbox photo photo finish primer that I'm almost out of and I'm gonna go get some more this again I'm gonna go in with my um pure sponge. Yes, it's a dirt ass hell. I'm gonna go in with my hand. Let's do some pumps. Um it pumps pretty nice. I think I may have pump. It's almost like creamy. It's cool to the touch. It almost feels like a whipped, like a whipped kind of like whipped cream. And whip it good. Whip it. Okay, so it's like kind of cold to the touch. I can't explain. Almost like it wants to dissolve into your skin. So let's go in and see what kind of coverage this has. Okay, it's a medium coverage I would say which is it didn't claim to be a full coverage so just one pump um maybe a little bit too white for me but we'll make it work and I am in color a very light three so yeah a little white for me but we'll make it work with the bronzer and bronzer skin out but yeah, it does feel very um light. I don't know how it's gonna wear, but I'm gonna do the wear test. Okay, so dab 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 dab. <laughs> okay, it's enough of that. It almost feels like it doesn't want to stick to your skin. I don't know, it's a weird feeling. stuff on my chin yeah it's really white for me but that's okay I'll make it work when I bronze up my skin da, 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 da. my ears are in pink okay um it does not feel heavy at all on the skin it actually feels kind of fresh it's a medium coverage because I can still see like that big old huge Mount Everest I had on my face. Still see that. I'm gonna go with my Urban Decay um, Naked Skin. There we go. Dab that right in there. Okay, guys. Goes. Okay, guys. So that highlight is actually popping. I hope y'all can see that. Yeah. It, it's really nice. Like it's a healthy, glowing highlight. I actually really like that. So I'm gonna go in wet again. I found probably this is the best method, sticking it in between and then going into the face. It is a really nice, it's almost like a, I would say like a peachy. Um, you got to really go in. These things are like, they feel like King Porix. Okay, Dad, have you been doing masonry for Mark products? My dad's a mason, so I'm going to be some bricks. Okay, so now I'm just going to go into these three here, like this. 
and run it down the nose. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put my lashes off camera. I haven't did any mascara yet. So under the eye, I'm gonna go back in with the palette and I'm gonna go in with this brush that I got in one of my palettes, I don't know what it is. And I'm gonna go in with this blue color here. And I'm gonna rub along the lash line Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with this color. I haven't used it yet. This purple almost, I don't know, it's a lavender purple and it's really pretty. And just rub right underneath there. And do come all the way into the inner corner with that eye. And back over here, and do the same thing. Mmm. Looks pretty. And then we're going to go back into this and inner highlight our inner corner. Going to go in with some lar lards. Yeah, we're going to go in there with some lard, guys. Some lights, cameras, lashes, mascara. And by the way, these are Demi Wispies by Ardell, just in case if you guys were wondering. They're one of my favorites. I'm going to go to lash. There you go. We'll see how this foundation wears. I like the way it looks. It's definitely a officially done with the eyes. Now, um, the lip product I got is this matte full color lipstick. So, we will see how that goes. Open it up. And again, the packaging. I just love the packaging on this. I don't know. And this is lip color. I don't know. There's a writing on the bottom. I can't see what it says, but this is what it looks like. It's like black. Oh, this is a really pretty nude. Let's Put it on. Ooh, this is a nice nude. I will figure out the color and I'll link it somewhere. It says LCEW7. Whatever that means. It has really creamy. That definitely matte. Okay, it's really nice. Mmm, this may be one of my favorite lipsticks. Mmm, it's nice. Done with this look, I'm going to zoom in so you can have a closer look to what it looks like. I'm going to close, zoom into the eyes. It's just a close up. You can back it out now. Hope you guys enjoyed this full face mark affordable makeup um look. I have the book right here. This is the one I got all my products out of. I will link her link down below the lady I get my stuff from. But if you have an Avon lady, you can keep it local. Um again, I love the way this looks. I'll be checking in with you here in a couple of hours and I will let you know how a war. Okay? Okay guys, I am back and we are doing a check-in. I did have to powder my face once. Um, lipstick held up pretty nice. It's been, I've had it on since two. It is nine o'clock, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So seven hours. It's a really healthy, pretty looking foundation. The eyeshadow stayed on pretty nice. I don't see any creasing. The green stayed on nice. Um, like I said, I did have to powder my face once. Um, the highlight's still on. The bronzer still looks good. 
lips look good so overall I am really impressed with this mark stuff I mean overall it was good um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up I'm thinking about doing um, another look with the palette so I can get more looks than one out of it if you like subscribe right underneath give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on Thursday for my WTF bye